again. It's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Putting my stool away. You probably couldn't hear most of that. Never mind. Um, let me introduce you to a few things. This is medical tubing or fish tank tubing that I use instead of a bendy straw because I want to try and keep my head out of the way to the camera. Otherwise, you can use a bendy straw and it works pretty well. Usually when I mix colors and put them down, then I blow furrows with this and it uncovers colors. This is my favorite tool. It is a bamboo skewer covered with paint now. These are my Princeton Catalyst spatulas. A really, really good thing to have for swiping or pushing or pulling or dragging. And this is an ancient kitchen scoop and this is a not so ancient kitchen scoop. And these are the three partners and their Hobby Lobby for $2.99 and I recommend them. This was a dollar store dustpan. They come in variety sizes, the small ones I like. I haven't gone for the large one, but then I don't have a space to work on a large canvas right now, so never mind. Okay, so I'm going to put some of these aside. I'll tell you that these are my Mardi Gras beads. Actually, those are not cut yet. But I also found some lamp chain and I'm going to endeavor to play with some of that. I have other scoops. This is a silicone bottom ice cube tray that I found, I don't know, at a yard sale or Marshalls or something like that, that I thought I might put the beads into. We shall see. This is my OXO OXO omelet turning spatula listed in my Amazon link directly under the video. And below that is the description of the painting, the recipe for the paint, a link to a Facebook album that shows wet and dry artworks from YouTube, and my Pinterest and my excuse me, my Pinterest and my Instagram. And if you want to help me keep painting, you can you should know that my artwork is for sale, but there's also Patreon and PayPal links to donate to my cause. So this is why I love this spatula, because it spreads paint magnificently. Even backwards, like that. <laughs> so I don't know. This is an 18 by 24 inch canvas and it's pretty large. And as much as I would love everybody to be able to see the paint colors that I put into whatever I put them into, namely probably my bead pan. Wait, that's my bead pan from Michaels. And that was my little dollar store plastic shovel that I often scoop paint out with if I'm not using my little scoop. So I just want to play. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I have a variety of techniques in mind, none of which has come to pass yet because we're not there yet. So I'm just going to keep spreading paint and it's gotten very hot. The sun is out. We are expecting weather. Hopefully it's not like yesterday when the tropical storm came, came and tried to blow me away in the second half of my uh, video. Anyway, so I'm going to take my wet cotton rag, which I recommend everybody has, and wipe off my spatula, which is looking pretty clean. I'm going to use my shorts because they're paint rags too. And I'm going to do the same. Yeah, I don't really care. I really wanted it to be a whole lot less funky than that turned out to be, but it's not that bad and uh, I will be covering it with some colors. I have not spent very much time using the bead dragging or chain method. I'm not a big fan of the string method or maybe I just I'm not very good at it. There's another word I was going to put in there I'm not going to use. Maybe I'm just not very good at it is the polite version of that. Uh, maybe someday. You never know. I have the same kind of luck with, uh, with drainer, strainer, sink strainer pores. They're just not my thing yet. Um, I don't know. Maybe my enthusiasm is lacking. But I'm very impressed with the people who do it and how they do it so well. And I'm just going to slap the edge of my canvas because I see paint dripping over there. And then I am going to throw this in the bucket. Uh, same thing with that black. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take my finger and run it right down the side. Twice. And even if it doesn't completely cover it, it's a good start. i got plenty of wet rags around. I haven't mixed any colors. I do have a space to put this away. So I think I'm going to do that. I have this theory that the more I please myself with my color choices, the more obnoxious they are, the happier I am with my end result. So I'm just going to go ahead and do what I want. When don't I? Anyway, so 
you seldom use red right up out of the gate. And you can tell because the cap's still on. Anyway, take the cap, put it in some place I can find it, and just keep going to town with colors I like. Now, I love this color shift minty green. It may not be my first choice, or it may not have been my first choice in the past, but uh, I also didn't use it for a long time. And those are kind of horrendous right now, but that's okay, we'll fix that, I promise. We're, we're going for the rainbow. <laughs> we're gonna see what, what we can do with creative color matching. And uh, just be brazen. And look at what I'm doing and decide whether I like it or not. And I'm beginning to like it a lot. I don't pour my colors in because they're in squeeze bottles and they're pre-mixed with Floetrol and GAC 800. GAC 800 means that if I have thick paint, I don't have cracking. I recommend it for everybody. It's only 10% GAC to 90% color and then you add your Floetrol or whatever your pouring medium is after that. I see the one thing I really haven't put in here is yellow. I'm not sure the timing is exactly right for that. I just started using this very cobalt looking blue and I love it. But I wasn't using much of it before. And here's my favorite color to finish. Yeah, let's just go everywhere with that. So, not to finish, I lie. <laughs> again and again and again and again. I lie. Because I can! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna add some yellow. Also, for the same reason. And I'm gonna throw some of that in the middle and splooge it right down in because agitated paint creates cells and I wanna see if that's gonna work that way. Do I want some more black? I probably do. Got a lot of bubbles in there. The torching will take care of that and hopefully help us make some patterns too. I lost all that red. You don't see any red in there, do you? No, you don't. All right. So, I don't know what else. Prussian blue? Yeah. It looks a lot like black, but it's actually Prussian blue. And it, and it sells really nicely. I do believe I actually put some deco art pouring medium into that. Um, it looks like I'm probably going to be doing more than one painting. I want my red orange, which I'm getting very low on. And it's a metallic. And it just... It zhuzhuz. Zhuzhuz everything up. I don't even think I know how to spell zhuzhuz, but uh, I don't have much of a light bunch of colors in there. It does look kind of like it wouldn't be a bad idea to plan on using that medical tubing to blow some furrows because uh, we got a lot of colors going on. And here's with the lighter metallic version of that blue, and I love what that's doing. Okay, so there is a pan of colors, and you're going to have to remember what that looks like while I bring my canvas back whoops, and move some paint out of the way. And I think I'm going to go back in. Yep. And now some of that's already beginning to dry. So I'm going to take my spatula out of the bucket. Paint. Use my shorts again probably damper than I need it to. I don't think it's going to hurt anything right now. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. Let's pour this. Put that into the bucket. Alright, so I am going to first of all, because I know you want to see, Drag some cool colors over there. And then we're going to probably tip this. Or I could just go ahead <laughs> and willfully add some beads and see what happens. Why don't we do that first? Just for a moment. I have left a 
enough colors in my way so that it's going to be a little hard to maneuver, so pardon me for a moment. Not minding any of that, that's kind of fun. I'm probably going to lose some of that when I tip. I'm going to put that right into the bucket. Give it a bit of a rinse. Where's my towel? I think everything blew away yesterday and I haven't found all of it. So I have edge catchers and I love the 18 by 24 inch canvases. Let's see if I can get right back into your picture. Edge catchers. Let's introduce those of you who have not met an edge catcher yet to an edge catcher. They come as the inserts in a bulk pack of Michael's 16 by 20 canvases. And I cut them in half. And then I let the paint flow to the edge of the canvas. we're going to lose some stuff there, but that's okay. I don't know what you can see. I should have gone ahead and tipped first. got to sort of hang on to that edge catcher because uh, there is wind out here right now. I'm loving what those colors are doing right in that direction. And I think I'm going to have a good time in a minute. We're also dripping white paint off. <laughs> well, hopefully the wind will not dry the paint so badly that I can't work with it. But I'm going to take, what am I going to take? I'm going to take, ha <laughs> I am going to take those beads right there in that central section. I've got paint all over my arm. Yes, I do. And I'm going to, hopefully I don't drip all over everything, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's see what happens. Repeatedly. Still not what I'd consider really, you know, good at this yet, so thank you for bearing with me while I learn. That seems to be working kind of okay. Not minding those marks. I am noticing that the wind is coming up crazy, so I'm not sure what's going to happen by any stretch of the imagination. With anything. Just so long as my canvas stays on the table, I think I'll be happier. I had some really pretty paint in there. But I have a lust to experiment. I want to clean it off because I like that yellow, but I think the whole idea is. I think I'm going to get like, I don't know, 20 strands of these that are clean together. And I am going to take some yellow, like shouting at you is going to help, and some orange. <laughs> and put them right in there like that. I probably didn't see that for very long. And dip my beads in again. And this time I'm going to double, double my bead length. Get some other schmutz on those beads. Some black. That will probably be there again. But I'm having a good time. So I'm just going to keep having a good time. I like what it does. I like the stripes it's making. In the white. And I've been kind of looking forward to playing with that. It makes me want to do some more of that, but I'm not sure that we can get the white. Yes, we can. We can get a little white. Get a little black. It's kind of a shame that most of the uh, the white paint is drying up, and I'm happy that I put some black on. 
it occurs to me that we have three minutes left and I've taken a god awful long time to do the little bit that I've done. And I'm missing my diagonal spatula, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to play fast and loose with paint because I can. I don't know what this is going to turn out like, but I know that there's going to be a part two. And if I wind up with a little canvas showing through up there, I'll just come back and add some colors. Like right now, maybe. I like that. And I like that. I'm going to wipe off my spatula so I can keep most of what's going on right there. I think I'm going to have some more of that in a moment. Anyway, so this is the end of part one in a moment. And Priscilla in Expressionist Star Studios' backyard, playing with paint. Inviting you to return in a moment for part two and to see what happens. Because even I don't know what that what that that's going to be. We got two minutes left, so I'll tell you again. My artwork is for sale. I have no other income. If you shop on my Amazon link, it helps me right below the video. And that OXO spatula is a charmer. <laughs> I recommend it very much. I'm not having a bad time with this at all. And I'm just doing willy-nilly what I want and I'm getting pretty happy about it. <laughs> and I can't wait to get to the second half. But I know I have a minute left. This is the um, Folk Art Color Shift Turquoise. And it does some really neat things when you combine it with other stuff. And I am very tempted to find out what that might be. That's right, that's what I wanted to do. If I told you what I just did, you wouldn't believe me. But it will take me a moment to recover. Anyway. <laughs> I think I'm going to take advantage of the moments I have left. If I can get paint to come out of this. Put that right back in your view. Yep, finally got it. <coughs> Paint wrestling today. Come off of there, you. All right. So I'm getting a little more brazen as my experience goes on. Taking some risks. Adding some colors just exactly where I want. Not talking. <laughs> oh, I gotta focus once in a while. No idea what's gonna happen. I think I mentioned that before. And um, I have some black around here somewhere. Or I had some black around here somewhere. Why is the black not... Well, you know what? I think, because I can, <laughs> I'm going to say I'll see you in the next video. And hopefully you can see all of that, and I'll be back in a moment. Right after I find out if you're still here or not. And you are, but you won't be in a moment. So, I'll see you in a minute. Bye for now.